like before coming to the Weekender? I wasn't liked much. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah. So what about you, John? Yeah, people thought I was kind of weird. Hey, John, did you see us to take up all the Mountain Dew? Yes! Tell me that one! Yeah. Now I've... I've worked out a lot of those issues. So, Cameron, how do you think God reacts to sin? Um, I know that God hates it, like, a lot. Um, I just think that if God was, like, a sumo wrestler, he'd come in and, like, annihilate it. Like, he'll, like, bounce it off with his belly or something. I got an illustration here when you see it. Like, it's pretty tight. So what do you think about that, John? Well, I kind of think, you know, it's a guy that's like a slap in the face, you feel me? You know what I mean? So. What's up? What's up, man? Oh! Cameron! Ah! Go! So, Cameron, what do you think life would be like without God? Um, well, pretty much, <laughs> God is like my Mountain Dew. Like, I love Mountain Dew to death. Like, throw me Mountain Dew. What's this? I mean, throw, throw me my... I drank it all, man. I'm sorry. You're kidding me, right? No, I'm sorry. It's all gone. No Mountain Dew. No Mountain Dew. All right, that's cool. God, no Mountain Dew! <laughs> So what do you think, John? Well, I think I it, it'll make me feel like I'm kind of drowning without God, you know? Ah! Ah! I can't swear! Ah! All right, now seriously, Cameron, what did you really get from the Weekender? All right, um, well, pretty much, like, I came down to the Weekender from Pastor Matt. He invited me to come. Um... I came here not expecting anything, and you guys, uh, the the preacher, what's it? I can't remember his name. Uh, today. Yeah. Lance. Lance. He said uh, something about uh, coming here expecting, expecting God to do something, and so I started praying, and God just gave me this like huge visual in my head about like everyone that we were praying for, that like they had some sort of uh, coal inside their heart, like like replacing their heart was just a coal. And God was chiseling that out, and he poured his blood onto that. And, like, his red blood onto that. So, like, now they, like, have a heart. Like, he transformed them. I have a feeling that God's just going to move so much through um, through us to reach them, those people that we prayed for. And I really do feel that strongly um, um, for that. And just it's just really it's just been a really good experience for me. So. so what did you really get from the Weekender, John? Well, um... Well, uh, at first I wasn't even going to come because of certain complications and stuff, but, you know, Pastor Matt and Cameron told me to come anyway and all this stuff. And I'm pretty, g I'm glad that I came and everything because um, I really got a lot from it. Usually I'm a stone type guy. I don't like opening up or a lot of things that happen in my life I don't like sharing. But God just knocked that, that door down and just completely just made me so available and everything and I guess I saw him breaking down as healing started coming in and stuff and um, actually today I was looking at the word reach and everything and and now that like I looked at it is you know in the word reach there's each you know and I was thinking that that meant you know to minister to each person don't just you know since there's a big group just minister to that big group and, the, and stuff and go on but because sometimes there's those individual people you gotta care for, you know, you gotta go back, you know, and see how they're doing and mentor them per se. I don't think a lot of people do that, and um, and I and I believe that 
you know, like, you know, the pastor that I talked today, Lance and everything, that we need to actually step up and for real, just whatever the cost may be, when we may feel alone or discouraged or when the world's all against you, you just step up, you know, draw your sword and wage war with the devil. So with all that, I kind of, I kind of felt like I have like a Job, Job spirit, you know, more, more bold and spiritual and everything like that. So plus it was sweet. Can you give me one? Should I start running? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha!